good. Is it on? Yeah. Hey, uh, my name is Jeremy Patton. This is Don Peace. We're going to go over the side choke uh, from side control. It's also called arm triangle or um, head and arm choke. And so it's a good setup. So we're in this position here. He might be hanging out with his arm like this, which is he, he might think he's safe there and he's not. You see some beginners do that. Or we may have wound up like this. We were in a scramble or whatever. Another way I might get this position is he might have, yeah, he might be pushing against my throat. And then what I do is I push his elbow over and I put my head against his head. But I want his arm like that. I want his arm on the side of my head that's closest to his head. Now I'm going to take this hand and try to grip under his armpit. He's pretty big, so if you can't get that, just grab a wrinkle in the gi. He's wearing a gi. I'm going to post on my hand and put my head on the mat and try to get it on his head if I can. The reason why I do that is I don't want his arm to get out. Because now I have nothing. you got to trap it. So once it's over here, let's say I shoved it over here. Now I'm going to... There's a couple ways. I've got to get to the other side to finish the choke. So I'm going to maybe do some sort of cartwheel or jump. So I post on my head in my hand and jump over. Now Don's a, Don's a pretty big guy. So now I'm going to take this hand. I'm going to do an S grip for Don. I'm going to S grip. And I'm going to come up on, uh, on my toes. I don't want my knees on the floor because I want to drive all my weight into him. Like this. Just put a lot of weight on him. Sink down. And, and finish the choke. Okay? Um, there's a few other ways to get to the other side. That's the one I usually do. So I'm in side control. He's, you know, he's pushing. I, 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 I try to be sneaky about it. Push his elbow. And the first thing I do is I try to get my head over here so he doesn't get his arm out. Because if he realizes what I'm going to do, he's going to try to get it out. Another way I can go across is I'm going to come up and put my knees on him like this. Slide my knees over. That was kind of like a, um, a double knee on belly. That works too. You have to be careful. You don't want your legs coming across here because then he's going to grab them and you know, maybe get me in half guard or full guard. And then you have to worry about trying to get your legs out and that's, that's no good. So you want to clear his legs when you pass the other side. So I control this way, head on the floor, post, clear his legs. He's pretty big, so I'm going to use my S grip like this. I sink down like that. I have to look pretty tight on this side. Um, you can do this grip, uh, Gable. You can do this one. Sometimes people will come under, grab the bicep, and you put your hand on your own ear. I've seen people put the hand on top of the guy's forehead. Just try which, you know, try them all. Um, the way this choke works for beginners is when my arm's under, my arm is cutting off the carotid artery on this side of his neck and his own shoulder. I'm pushing it in. His shoulder is cutting off the carotid artery on that side. That's how, so if you, if you cut off the blood flow to the brain, you go to sleep. So that's what you're trying to do. You want to do it on me full. I, I like the way you did it because uh, your legs went straight in there. look real impressive. So let's have you do it on me full speed a couple times. How's that? All right, so we're going to have him go do the whole thing. <coughs> good job, man. <laughs> that's really good. One other, um, one other thing. Let's say I've seen people finish this a little differently. I'm trying not to sneeze. I'm going to sneeze on him. So I'm in side control. I got his arm over. I don't want him to get his, head, his arm out. So I got my head as close to his head as I can get it. Posting. And I'm going to jump over. Make sure he doesn't get me in half guard. Make sure I don't get my legs entangled with his. Sometimes I'll see people, instead of doing it like this, they'll sit through like this and maybe crank his head up a little bit. So it becomes kind of like a, a neck crank choke. So if the first one doesn't work, you can try to try to do it that way. So your legs will be here. You sit through like this, and you go like that. Okay? Thank you very much.
Thanks, man. I appreciate it. You are.